For Peter Obi, he will go down as Nigeria's most dangerous and divisive politician. Yes. He elevated his well-known clannish mentality to a most unfortunate height by openly anchoring his campaign on religion and ethnicity. He presented himself, Obi presented himself as a poster boy for and a champion of our country's fault lines. He took advantage of our youths whose expectations are fast-paced, who are uninterested in excuses and who are in search of a hero. He pumped up their sentiments and rode on their emotions while grandstanding as a savior. It was a false pretense. Obi's credentials are eternally stained as a former governor with no remarkable legacy. Not a few of our youths thought Peter Obi looked like the leader they wanted, and many of them could not tolerate any form of scrutiny of their newfound <coughs> hero. The combination of the disgruntled youths, the ethnic champions, and commercial or commercial clerics, or what we call pastorpreneurs, these were the reasons Obi thought he could win a presidential election in Nigeria. Such illogic is not strange to the Labour Party. Mm -hmm. 